Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make a block using this creative grids ruler which is called Crazier 8. And what this is, is this is five rulers that join pieces of patchwork to make a crazy patchwork block which measures eight inches finished. So I'm going to show you how you cut those out but before I do that, I'm just going to show you this gorgeous top that Barbara has made. And she's made this using this Creative Grids ruler, which, as I say, comes in five pieces. And what she's done is she's cut each of the pieces in identical fabric. And then she's just twisted it round. So she's got this gorgeous gold star effect in the middle. So this is either going to be a cushion cover or it's going to be a table centre. So we've also got another example of what you can do if you put all these blocks together and that's using autumnal fabric. So you can see here what we've done just laying these blocks out. So let me show you the rulers. I'll just pop this to one side. So you've got five pieces here and they're marked A, B, C and D. And it's great if you've got layer cake squares left over. So these ones that I've done here, these are from a layer cake and they're all mixed up. And the good thing is you can cut a lot of them together. So there's a great video on creative grids YouTube channel and they show you how to use the rulers and how to cut and they also show you different ideas and patterns of how you can put them together. So it's probably worth watching that one as well as this one. So today I'm going to show you how to cut out using a 10 inch square with all of these pieces and then how to put them together. So the important thing to remember is to have your fabric looking at you. And I made that mistake the first time round. I had the wrong side of my fabric looking at me and therefore all my pieces were wrong. So I've put a little mark here at two inches up and I've put a little mark here at six and three quarter inches because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across there. So if I just lay them out for a moment, and I've got one of these rotating mats as well, which makes life easy. So I'm just going to lay them out to show you how they would fit onto here. So you can see, just move it over to there because you might be able to get a better view on that camera. So you can see how all of those fit onto a 10 inch square. Now, when I made these pieces here, I actually stacked a lot of 10 inch squares together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my cut. And that's why having one of these rotating mats is so good. So I've marked my two inches and my six and three quarter inches. And I'm just going to cut straight across there. And then I'm going to place D and E on my cut line. Just move that out of the way a minute. Onto that cut line there and there. And I'm going to cut around these. And as I say, this is why it's so good having one of these mats because you haven't got to move your pieces or your fabric. You just move the mat. And as you can see, spin it back round. As you can see, I've cut this piece out and here I've cut straight across the corner. And with all of these, they've got the corners cut off. So you've got no little dog ears when you put them together. So that allows for your quarter inch seam when you're joining them together. When we go over to the machine, I'll show you on the other camera 
how they fit snugly together. So that's piece D cut out. Just a little tip, when I cut all of these earlier, I wrote on the back of them what piece they were. So that made my life easier when I came to join them together. So now I'm gonna cut out E. I'm gonna cut across that corner. So that's piece E cut out. And then from our top piece, we're going to lay these other rulers. So we're going to put A, B, and C. And what you would do is you would cut all of those out and you would make sure that you followed the line of the creative grid ruler and cut off the points so that they all fit together. So you would do that with all your 10 inch squares until you've got all your blocks cut out. You don't have to use 10 inch squares, you could do it using scrap fabric or as I showed you earlier on the other piece, if you use the same piece of fabric for a and the same piece for B. So I'll just show you that again. So you might be able to see better what I mean by the pieces now. So this is A, B, C, D and E. And so if you use the same fabric each time you create this pattern. Alternatively, if you use different fabrics as I've done here, you'll create this pattern and then you can join your blocks together however you want. So I'm going to go over to the machine now and I'm going to sew some of these pieces together that I've already cut out previously. So I've cut a few pieces here and I've mixed up my colours so that I've got a real crazy mix of colour for my crazy patchwork. So I'm going over to the machine now and I'm going to join D to E and then I'm going to join A to B to C. And then when I've got my two pieces, I'm going to join those two together. But before I do that, before I go to the machine, if you like what we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. You can see customer makes, you can meet the team, there's behind the scene pictures, and we'll answer all of your comments in the questions below. So here I've got my two bottom pieces. I've got a D which I'm joining to an E. They're a quarter inch seam. So you can see here when I put them right sides together, let me see if I can show you on this camera. So when that comes back from the quarter of an inch, because that's been squared off, it all fits together nice and snugly and we haven't got any little dog ears. So now I'm putting my A to B. And so you can see here where we've already trimmed the corner again, that fits in there nice and snugly.
And I'm just going to give these a press and then I'm going to join these two pieces together. So now you can see that I've created another one of these blocks. And you would just continue doing this, either using up your layers, cake squares, or using up your scraps, joining them all together, and then you would lay your quilt out any which way you wanted to do it, because it is crazy patchwork. Or as I said before, if you've got the same colours in the same places, you would lay it out like this. And you could make a few blocks like this. You could sash between them and join them together. There's so much you can do. So as always, make it your own. Have fun. And I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.